Oh no, my spinny wheel came off. My spinny bicycle wheel. I lost my nut. My nut fell off and my stars bent. Wait, that goes on the other way. Hey everybody, Ben, Somerville Gardener. And today I'm surveying some of the damage and cleaning up a little bit of the wreckage that was left from the, well, not really so much the hurricane, that's just the winds they came in after the hurricane. That's pretty much where most of my damage or problems came from. There was just a little bit of destruction though. Fortunately of my potted plants, only the guava and papaya fell over. A little bit of damage on one of the papaya leaves, but not too bad. In all, I'd say it wasn't too bad on the potted plants. The blackberries over here got twisted around just a little bit. I've tried to prop them up just a little bit down over here to try and hold them up. Thankfully, none of those got damaged or thrown around too bad over along this side the plums the blueberries the ginger and figs no major damage there i did have to stake up my lime tree here just because it did fall over i think all the weight of these extra limes just kind of tipped the whole thing over a couple of stakes right here and it's standing up straight so hopefully no lasting damage on that one i am pleasantly surprised that the fuyu persimmon didn't get any damage my poor pathetic i'm pretty sure it's dead but i'm still gonna lie to myself and say that it's not dead and it's gonna pop right back any day now well it hasn't changed no changes for the better or worse on my methylene plum the peach tree here the uh moro the karakara Brown select Satsuma, no damage, no real movement on any of these. I don't think anything really happened over here on this side of the yard. The Ruby Supreme Guava looks like the, my little support stick bent just a little bit. Seems to be leaning back just a little bit more than it was before, but not too bad at all. Oh wait, I'm missing a whole support stick. Where'd the other stick go? I had another stick over on the side helping hold up the branches and it's just, it's gone. Looks like I need to find a new stick. And this loquat over here also was just tipped over and laying on the ground. Got it stood back up. A couple little stakes in the ground and it's standing right back up. Hopefully there should be no lasting damage from that one. The bananas and taros over here, I believe they're looking pretty good. Looks like there's a lot of leaf damage. Lots of tattered banana leaves over here on this side. Well, actually all of them. All the banana leaves are just torn and tattered. Let me see if I can find my sickle. Go ahead and take care of some of these that have broken off. I do like playing with my sickle. It's really easy to just hook it right up under here and just give it a little chop and away it goes. And I may as well take this one out too. And I'll just go around and clear up some of these. Grab this guy here. Ooh, it's a big one. Let's just shave this guy up. There we go. That one's looking a little bit better now. And I might need to take that one off too. There we go. Those look a little bit better. I'll head up these over here in a little bit. Whole lot of chop and drop going on. Bamboo's looking pretty good. Looks like it's grown up really tall. And in a matter of just a couple days from the pre-hurricane video that came out, uh, these sticks up here, that's probably going up to about 10 feet tall now. So it looks like it's been able to grow about a foot, foot and a half in just a couple days. Oh no. I was afraid of that. I didn't get out here to prop this thing up and yeah, I don't think that's going to make it. Well, lost a few bananas. But as I said before, I don't think these things were really going to mature or be very good anyway. There's quite a few of them that were just already brown and softening. Yeah, and those are hard and brown. Well, it's not too bad. I only lost maybe 10 or 15 little bananas. Those would have been good though. But for this guy, we'll just give him a big old choppy. And he's gone. May as well clean this up just a little bit. I'll get that all chopped up and just spread it around down there. Chop and drop, chop and drop. Ooh, before I leave over here, let me go ahead and check on these other bananas. Yeah, there we go. That one's not looking too bad right there. And they're already starting to plump up and get a little chubby. They're starting to get just a little bit of the dust that makes these things turn that bluish kind of color. Although it looks like the, the water kind of washed it or made it collect into little areas. So these might not get that cool little greenish blue hue that they get. But as long as I get a few bananas each year, I'm happy with it. A little bit more cleanup on some of these and these bananas should be good. Okay, let's check out the other side of the yard over here. Looks like the taro got wind whipped quite a bit. It's all flopped over and laying down. My pretty ginger over here is looking pretty good. And this one over here looks like it's starting to flower just a bit. That's the uh, the purple ginger or the, uh, what's it called? Lotus ginger. It's looking pretty good over here. 
Can't wait to see a few more of those flowers popping up. When it comes to the ginger that I've had so far, I really do like those pinkish purplish heliotrope kind of colored cone flowers that it gets going. Looks like the awapui over here is doing real good. No major damage on that. Oh, oh, it looks like we got another casualty. Let me see if I can get back here and not get wrapped up in a bunch of spider webs. Ah, that doesn't look too bad. Looks like uh, the one day of extra growth, it's, it's still going, still growing. Go ahead and just take care of this guy. And that should regrow just fine. Oh no, where's my bananas? Oh, there they are. Whew, okay, they're still good. Let me walk back around here to this other side and oh, oh, what do we have here? I got another banana flower. That's very cool. And uh, looks like that one's starting to lean just a good bit. It's another one of those skinny ones. Why is it so skinny and producing bananas? And it looks like we might even have some little bananas poking out right there. So I should get a, another couple of bananas out of that. Hopefully that more than makes up for the ones that I lost over there on the other side. And that cluster of bananas there is looking pretty good. I'm a little worried about the browns that are going on. Looks like I may have cut the flower off just a little bit too short and it's uh, going up the stalk just a little bit. Yeah, it's a little dark. A few of them are a little brownish on the edges. Hopefully I'll get a few good bananas out of that still anyway. I wonder if any more of these things are flowering back here. Let me clean these up just a little bit so I can see just a little bit better. Well, in all, that doesn't look too bad. Just a few leaves needed trimmed off of those. All things considered, I'll take it. Not bad for a hurricane. Quick update on the ginger that I planted just a couple weeks ago, or I guess it's been about a month ago now. Growing a little bit slower than the first batch, but we do have a few little nodes poking up. A little weed right there. I'll probably end up planting those inside the house for the winter time. That way they can go ahead and grow up nice and big and strong. And I'll have fresh ginger for the winter and to grow more in the spring. Over on the side of the house, no real damage there. Looks like we got a box cover missing up over there. Sometimes I'm just surprised when we get all those winds and I don't have flower pots strung about the whole neighborhood. But let's take a quick look over here on the other side of the house where we got the flower shaped bamboo planter going. Looks like I might have to get the wife out here to mow the grass. That'll be fun to watch. Oh, and if I didn't know any better, I'd say that I've got a bunch of uh, milkweed growing around over here and a bunch of other weeds. Well, my flowers aren't looking too bad. Wonder whose branch of a tree this is. That's not my tree. Where'd that come from? Oh, wow. Yeah, weeds are getting a bit uh, tall back here. Probably gonna have to have the wife come over here and hit this up just a little bit. But I do believe that these are milkweed. Not sure about this one here, but this here looks like milkweed. And you know, that gives me an idea. What if I just let this whole area go or just killed off all the grass and just let a bunch of milkweed pop up? That'd probably get a bunch of butterflies going. And for this time of the morning, I am kind of surprised that I don't see any bees or butterflies out here. Usually I can look out the window and see some little bees that are on these, uh, I think this is the, uh, the Mexican heather, false heather. False heather, that's what I call this stuff. And these over here, these little coneflower things. Ooh, those are sharp and pokey. That's kind of cool. And I was really hoping that this thing would, well, we got a bunch of seeds. Seeds are good. Let those go ahead and grow right there. But I was hoping this thing would go ahead and flower up a bunch like the ones that Lowe's were. Because these have some really cool like stalks of like these little uh, flame burst kind of flowers. And I was kind of hoping I'd be able to see a bunch of those within a little bit of time, but it's been over a month at least now. Six weeks, eight weeks that these have been over here. And it looks like this guy might need just a little bit more dirt up here around these roots because that's drying out real good in a bad way. I think this was like a mum kind of thing or, or aster. Was this aster? I'll have to look at the old video and see what this is. I think this was aster. Probably should have left tags on these. And the Wong Chuck or Royal Bamboo, that's looking pretty good. I was kind of hoping for a new stock to pop up, but I haven't gotten to see one of those coming up just yet. Hopefully any day now, we'll just see a fresh little stalk poking up right next to this guy, maybe. So that's gonna do it for me today on this little update video. So make sure you keep those thumbs green, pests away, and know that you are appreciated. Oh no, my spinny wheel came off. My spinny bicycle wheel. Where'd it go? I lost my nut. My nut fell off and my stars bent. Wait, that goes on the other way. There we go, it's supposed to go like that. And it spins, sort of. Well, got some bent stars. Ah, great. Ah, I found it, here it is. Uh, it's supposed to go like that, and then as the wind blows, it spins. Eh, we'll get this fixed later. 
Yeah, this is going to be a project for another day. <laughs>